Excuse me, what fraud? I don't, I, this is not about Trump anymore. When you I know. get a developer, when you get a developer when that builds a building, and he says it's worth $400 million, and he wants to borrow $200 million from a bank, which happens every day, everywhere on Earth, including every American city, every developer is an entrepreneur. They shine the light on their building, and they say it's worth 400. The bank does its own due diligence, as was done in this case, because they're very good at it, the banks are very good, and they say, no, it's worth 300. We're only going to loan you 150 million. That haggling has gone on for decades. That's how it works. And then, in this case, even, the bank that was supposedly defrauded testified goal. and said, we didn't lose anything. We want to do business with this guy again. We'd like to. But the judge said, no, 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 no. Let's penalize this developer for $355 million. And if we're going to do that, let's penalize all the developers all across America. They've all done the same thing. All of them should go to jail and we should stop building buildings. That's what the message is from New York. Even the governor herself is concerned about what this looks like to investors all around the world. It's not, my point is there's never been a case like this in 75 years. Everything you just listed off is done by every real estate developer everywhere on earth in every city. This has never, ever been prosecuted.